Hello everyone, in this video we will learn about the JWT token authentication and I will use .NET Core 7.0 and C Sharp Core to explain everything in it. So uh, first of all uh, I will explain what is JWT. Actually JWT is JSON Web Token and we can read about this particular token here on its uh, official website. It has three part one is header payload signature. I will explain all these things to speed up the video. I have already written the code and I will explain it. So first of all, I have one method in which I am passing the ID and password. So if the user has the name Sukhraj and password is password in that case, I am considering it valid user and it will generate the token. It will return the token. Otherwise I am saying it is unauthorized access, right? So how we are generating the token I have taken one class JWT token manager right here uh, this particular method will generate the token so how it is generating first of all we need one key that we are using to make our token secure right that will be unique key which we are using to sign the uh, particular token so I have that particular key here and uh, another URL I have taken as this particular URL on which my application will run, right? So this particular, uh, uh, my application is uh, running on this particular URL. That's why I have taken it in the issuer. Now inside the JWT token, first of all, we are creating the one security key. In case of the security key, I will get the security key here using the encoding get byte i will convert into the byte then using the symmetric security key i am getting it security key so it means we are further wrapping the key and making it more secure and after that we are signing this particular key with another algorithm to create the signing credentials and here i have used the algorithm this one multiple algorithm are you can see here we can use anyone but uh, according to our requirement or um, it depends which you want to use so I have used this one now I have this signed credential key after that we are generating the JWT token and we are passing few parameter to this particular object uh, constructor or class constructor like uh, here I am pass first one is issuer issuer means who is issuing this particular token so in this case my issuer will be the this particular application and audience means who can use this particular token then we have claim claim if you want to pass some hidden values or secure values inside the token and want to access in the next request right or we have some inbuilt claim as well not before not before is like means this token cannot be used before this particular time and expire means um, when this uh, token is generated after that we can add okay of only after one hour it will get expire and these things can be null right but uh, in the end we need to provide the signing credential which is more important most important part so this credential will now signing credential will sign everything using this signing uh, means this particular signing credential will sign this full token to make it more secure it's like a many layers here so it is not easy to decode the uh, jwt token that's why it's a more secure then using the JWT security token handler, we are writing the token to this particular object and returning it, right? So when we are returning it, we are generate, we are returning the token. Now in, in the next request, if we are passing this particular token, this particular uh, web application will validate it. So now how it will validate? Uh, we have one program or mostly in the in .NET Core 5.0, I think we have a startup class. So we are adding the uh, authentication and authorization. First of all, we need to add one service where we are saying add authentication. And also uh, in the pipeline, we are saying we are going to use authentication and authorization. First we will authenticate, then we will authorize. So this should be in the same way, right? And uh, uh, use routing and use endpoint uh, means these two things must come between use routing and use endpoint so that this middleware will uh, will work in a line right 
सो हेयर वी आर एडिंग दी अथेंटिकेशन मैकेनिज्म हेयर वी आर सेइंग वी आर गोइंग टू चूज दी जे डब्ल्यू टी वेरियर डिफॉल्ट अथेंटिकेशन स्कीम एंड देन वी आर गोइंग टू चूज दी जे डब्ल्यू टी टोकन हेयर वी विल एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग इन दी ऑप्शन टू दी टोकन वैलिडेशन पैरामीटर्स बट इट विल वैलिडेट राइट इट विल वैलिडेट दी इशूअर येस इट फिट इज ट्रू इट विल वैलिडेट दैट दी टोकन इज इशूअर बाई दिस पर्टिकुलर मीन सोर्स वी कैन से लाइक हेयर आई हैव यूज दिस इफ दिस टोकन इज जनरेटेड बाई दिस ओनली इन दैट केस इट विल कंसिडर इट एज दी वैलिड टोकन राइट इफ दिस टोकन इज जनरेटेड बाई सम अदर एप्लीकेशन ऑन फ्रॉम अनदर यू आर एल राइट इन दैट केस इट विल नॉट बी वैलिड देन वी आर वैलिडेटिंग द ऑडियंस इफ द रिक्वेस्ट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम विच ऑडियंस दैट इज एडेड एज द टू वैलिडेट इफ दैट इज एडेड हेयर इन द लिस्ट ओनली इन दैट केस इट विल कंसिडर टू वैलिडेट अदरवाइज इट विल अलाउ देन वी हैव लाइफ टाइम वी आर वैलिडेटिंग द लाइफ टाइम ऑफ टोकन इट इज गेट एक्सपायर्ड और नॉट बिकॉज दीज आर द नलेबल पैरामीटर्स इन वैन वी आर जनरेटिंग द टोकन देन वी आर वैलिडेटिंग द इशूअर सैनिंग की वी आर यूजिंग द की राइट येस देन वैलिड इशूअर वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग हु इज द वैलिड इशूअर दिस पर्टिकुलर एंड विच वी हैव डिफाइंड हेयर ओके देन वी आर सींग वैलिड ऑडियंस अगेन वी हैव ओनली डिफाइंड द सेम ऑडियंस इवन वी कैन एड हेयर मल्टीपल इशूअर वन ऑडियंस वन ऑडियंस टू लाइक मल्टीपल कीज ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर सेंग टू इशूअर सैनिंग की दैट वी आर सैनिंग द सेम बेस मिट्री की वी आर जनरेटिंग इन द सेम वे लाइक वी जनरेटेड वैन वी हैव जनरेटेड दिस पर्टिकुलर टोकन वी कैन सी हेयर फर्स्ट वी कैन जनरेट द टोकन राइट एंड देन कन्वर्ट टू दिट्रिक की एंड देन वी यूज दी दिस सैनिंग की टू साइन द क्रेंशियल सो हेयर वी आर सेंग ओके दिस मिट्रिक की इज यूज राइट नाउ वैन दी एप्लीकेशन एनी रिक्वेस्ट विल कम टू दिस एप्लीकेशन सो वी हैव यूज दी मिडल वेयर हेयर अथेंटिकेशन एंड आधोराइजेशन सो ड्यूरिंग दी अथेंटिकेशन इट विल मै इट विल ट्राई टू कंपेयर दैट पर्टिकुलर टोकन or we will try to decode that particular token with the help of these things which we have provided because we here also provided the key and everything if it is if match then it's fine otherwise it will say it is unauthorized access it means the token is not valid so now this particular application is running on on right on swagger so i will try to generate one token here okay so first i will try to log in here i am using the username password and i will execute it when uh, so i have put the pointer here right we can see here now now it has generated the token so once the token is generated after that in the next request okay i will copy this one Okay, now I will use the postman. Uh, we have the get app name here is here, right? So just one second, I will copy one another URL. That is the secure because it will validate only in the case when we have the annotation used authorization. Now uh, for this particular method, I have used the authorization uh, to authorize, right? In that case, it will validate the token. Otherwise, it will not validate. So when I am saying get secure app name. and in the postman uh, we are trying to get hit on it now i am not passing any token right so i will say send in that case i am you can see here we are getting 404 not found okay some okay get secure app name some spelling mistake is here now it's get secure app name now we are getting 401 unauthorized access man particular URL exist but still we are getting unauthorized access because we are not passing token now we need to pass the token here in the authorization we need to use weird token and i will pass the token now i am getting a hit here right and you can see the output as well secure app is returned from here and status is 200 okay and we are not getting any unauthorized access so another method is here that is get app name but here i have not used the annotation authorize now let's see how it will impact if token is passed 
we are getting the excess and we are getting the proper response but if token is not there still we are able to access it and we are getting the response as well so token will work or will get validated when we are using the authorize so again i can show you the code here this is particular code and this particular null is which i pass that is the claims right sometimes we need to pass some data and that we need to secure so in that case we can pass in the claim like the, i have this another method where i am generating some claim this is some inbuilt sub email jt these are the inbuilt keys of claim or we can give custom like doj dob and we can pass these claims here and uh, when we are passing this token in the header and in the request we can get these claims and we can use it okay uh, that's all in the jwt token process if anyone have any question or someone want this code like i'm getting some time requests on my another videos you guys can share your email id in the comments i will email this particular class jwt token manager or even i can email this particular project as well that's all in this video thank you